Triple Kill. The Crazy Spark. Set Start Skulls on. What's up, guys? Crazed here, and I'm playing some Firefight on Halo Reach. If you haven't noticed, uh, I love Firefight. I mean, one of the best things about Halo Reach was the Firefight mode. Unfortunately, it got exploited a little bit back in uh, Halo Reach in its prime. I know a lot of people would uh, get into the regular matchmaking of Firefight, and they would just go AFK for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours. It would, and they wouldn't get kicked out of the game. And that really sucked because you were like fighting all these enemies by yourself. But then they came out with a game mode called Score Attack, which is generally what I play. Uh, and Score Attack is basically just you, and it's, the game is set up for just you. So it's not uh, overwhelmingly crazy like some of the other uh, firefight modes uh, if you play in the regular matchmaking. And I did get a match. It was kind of crazy. I did get a match in regular firefight mode the other day. I think I was playing with Elite Assassin, and... Uh, we actually got a match. It was just us, though. Just us. But it was still kind of cool. Because I think we got a little... I don't want to say spoiled, because that's not the right word. Uh, used to the handicap that you had to have uh, certain numbers of players in the match before it starts. And MCC does this a lot. Uh, you have to have a full team before the match will even start. So, I don't know how many times I'm in a lobby and... Uh, somebody doesn't get the map they wanted or the game type they wanted. They want SMGs on Colossus or something. I don't know. You tell me how that works out. And then they, <laughs> then they uh, back out. And, uh, and then, of course, we got to start searching again, which kind of sucks. But that's just the way it is. But the game type I'm playing is, uh, what is this called? Crash Sight. Which I loved Halo Reach's uh, game modes on for Firefight. Halo ODST, I love that one. I still say that's the best by far because it really felt like a survival mode. It was like you and your friends just trying to get as far as you can with what you got. And uh, you're picking up weapons from the enemy. And I really love that mode. However, Halo Reach really had a nice thing. that They had different game modes for Reach or for Firefight. And one of them is called Crash Sight. Now, if you've ever read the books, uh, like one of the very first ones, it was called The Fall of Reach. And the interesting thing about that is that the Spartans had to defend generators. I believe it was Red Team, as a matter of fact. And uh, Fred was out there, and Linda, and I can't remember. It's been a long time since I read that book. Uh, but... They had to defend generators, and that's just basically what this game mode is. I gotta defend this little generator and, and try do my best to keep it alive. And it has a lock mode, as you can see, it's kind of beeping right now there, that prevent it from taking damage. So there you go, and relock it, and it doesn't take damage for as long as that lock mode is up. So I can fight these skirmishers and jackals, which are the worst enemies. I hate fighting these things. After that, it's not so bad because I have this shield. This shield is crazy. That's why I love my nades. Here, eat some nades. But anyways, that's just really fun to have, man. I really hope for a firefight to return. A real firefight. Warzone, not so much. I'm, I'm sorry if you liked Warzone. Uh, that's fine. Uh, for me, it's just not for me. I, I just want a four Spartan team and we could play firefight for hours and just try to rack up them points, kill the Covenant, uh, kill a Flood maybe. <laughs> That's a thought. You know what I always thought would be kind of cool is that if they had the Flood uh, drop in on the Covenant or something else and then they... It, all the dead corpses of the Covenant, they'd start taking over, and you'd have to all of a sudden start fighting Flood versus the Covenant. Uh, I thought that would be kind of cool. But anyways, it's kind of interesting. I know I'm kind of rambling here a little bit, but uh, I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Halo Community Feedback Program. I want to make sure I point this out. Because right now, they are setting up for the Master Chief Collection in order to uh, start 
fighting out their builds and we can start getting some game time with a updated preview of what they're working on. So if you have not joined, and it might even be too late, I don't know, but I would definitely recommend going over there and joining that. Join that program, and then, of course, maybe send a tweet to uh, uh, to a couple of the people at 343. Maybe they can help you get into the program. Um, other than that, you're probably going to have to wait a little bit, and there might be an Xbox Live thing, but as of right now, they're actually uh, really starting to gear up to start doing that preview. And if you want to be part of that, by all means, please go sign up for the Halo Community Feedback Program and start. Uh, I think there's a brief, brief <laughs> survey that you got to complete. But once that's done, you get an invite to the MCC Insiders Program. Uh, so that's going to put you into that, and that's going to be awesome. Now, I can't wait to see what they're doing. Uh, see what's coming and uh, I don't know whether or not we're going to be able to share uh, to be honest because uh, sometimes they do have that little uh, I don't want to say uh, disclosure disclosure uh, agreement or something like that they might do that with MCC the preview program I don't know uh, at this point so if you want to get that build by all means go and check it out but still Still loving it. Still playing Halo, guys. Uh, I've recently started playing Titanfall. Uh, that's been really fun. Uh, Titanfall 2, I'm sorry. Been playing that a bunch, and that's just been fun. I've just been enjoying that. Uh, it's kind of a nice little break. Little, It's a little relaxing. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to say that or even imagine that, but it's kind of hard to, hard to imagine that. Just, just relaxing, uh, playing a crazy FPS shooter like that because I don't know. Uh, even if I have a bad game, it seems to be okay uh, because I'm killing them little minions. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a false sense of doing something, a false sense of accomplishment. I don't know, but man, it's, it's still fun. Uh, I've been playing that, and it was like six bucks uh, on the spring sale. It may even still be out there. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you haven't played titanfall 2 it would be worth it um still awesome but anyways we're getting there we're getting there uh halo 6 will be coming we'll have some information on that soon uh, by soon i mean you know, june <laughs> we're getting there uh i can't wait to see what we got i still think i still think we're gonna have a couple major announcements not just halo 6 a couple of really major announcements for Halo. What those could be, I don't know for sure. Hopefully we'll find out whatever that... What was that? Uh, a Steven Spielberg... Pro, oh, man, I love that weapon. I really do. That Steven Spielberg TV show or whatever it was supposed to be. You know, that was announced back in 2014. Uh, they might have announced that a little early <laughs> in some aspects. That's like my favorite weapon in, in this game. I really loved it. Uh, this one right here. It was so fun to take on jetpackers. They jetpack way up in the sky and this would just track them. <laughs> and that was just fun to get them. I would try to get this weapon. Many people just left it alone, but I thought it was a really awesome weapon. It's kind of like the predecessor to the Hydra, but I think this one actually works better. Because it does. It will chase. It will chase vehicles around the map. Uh, and that is really awesome to see a warthog running away and you see like four globulos chasing it and that is just <laughs> incredibly just good fun come on, come on. <laughs> there you go but honestly this game here is quickly wrapping up so I just want to say thanks again guys for checking out this channel for staying with me subscribing with me uh, just hanging out and enjoy, of course enjoying Halo and of course my rants from time to time but the only way or the only reason I rant about Halo or critique it as much as I do is because I, like you, just want Halo to be the best it can be. And that's not a bad place to be. Hey, I got him. I think I got him with the box. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks again. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.